children, this is the story about the first Christmas, almost 2,000 years ago. It's also the story about a very special baby. It all started on a bitter winter night, when the wind was blowing so hard it made tears come to your eyes. And on that very night, a young couple was traveling on their way to Bethlehem. They were very cold and very tired. These two travelers were so poor, they had only one donkey. The man was a carpenter named Joseph, and his wife's name was Mary. And Mary was going to have a baby. But they had a long, long way to travel. Finally, after miles and miles, Joseph saw this dim light in the distance. It was an inn, and he told Mary that everything was going to be all right, that they would have warmth and shelter for the night. So helping her along, they went to the door of the inn. Joseph knocked. And when the innkeeper opened the door and saw this worn out looking couple, he just knew they didn't have any money. Sorry, folks, he said, no vacancies, and he shut the door fast. Poor Joseph was terribly disappointed. He looked at Mary, and she was too tired to even cry. Maybe that's when he got this brilliant idea. He saw a stable nearby, and he figured it would be warm in there. And if Mary could get out of the cold and rest for a while, she might still be all right. So they went to the stable. It was warm in there, all right, but very crowded with animals. Cows and donkeys and sheep, and it looked as if Mary and Joseph might not be able to squeeze in. But then, then a very strange thing happened. All the animals moved over and made room for Mary. Joseph got some fresh straw and fixed her a bed. She lay down. And then a hush came over the stable. Everything got very still and very quiet. The donkeys didn't bray. The cows didn't move. And in that hush, a baby was born. They called him Jesus. And he grew up to teach us that we can always improve our lives, no matter what has happened in the past. He also taught us the most important thing in the world, that we love each other, understand each other, and forgive each other. That's what this day is all about. The all-forgiving spirit of Christmas. And don't you children ever forget that. And that goes for you too, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs>